Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about my most long lasting fragrances within my collection. I literally pulled every single one of my fragrances that I know last 10 to 12 hours or even more on my skin as well as on my clothes and that's saying a lot because a lot of scents do not last really long on me I don't know what it is about my skin but they just don't really grab and stay on but these particular ones are very very long lasting so if this is a video that you guys are interested in then definitely stay tuned thank you so much for joining me today and do not forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel join our little community and also leave your comments down below so i know that you watched the video and also let me know what are your most long lasting fragrances within your collection as always i'm going to list all of these products down in the description bar for you guys to check out and let's go ahead and get into it i'm not going in any particular order every single one of these fragrances in front of me last pretty much the same amount of time which is hours and hours and hours literally the next day you will smell this and for days it will be stuck to your clothes I do love a fragrance that can last for hours and I don't have to worry about touching it up or anything like that and they have great projections which most of these do they are all very different we have very soft girly ones but then we have very deep we have some oud we have some gourmand we have floral so so there's something for everyone here and they're all very different but I appreciate every single one of them at different times different events depending on my mood I'll grab one of these so I'm gonna start off with my first love and this is definitely a scent that I completely adore it's a compliment getter and it's just it's very unique this is Dalina from Parfums de Marly absolutely gorgeous gorgeous this bottle over here is everything and some more absolutely lovely this fragrance is just a beautiful floral scent that is very unique in my opinion there's so much to it it's really really hard to describe but it's just like a beautiful walk through a garden of roses it's beautiful it's unique there's a little bit of a spice to it it's girly it's feminine sophisticated it's a little sensual amazing as a signature scent every single time I wear this perfume it will last me for hours I literally don't need to worry about touching this up whatsoever and it projects so amazingly you will get tons of compliments with this fragrance like I've had people ask me to write down the specific name, where they could get it, because they really wanted to try this scent out. Um, it's a pricier one, but it's absolutely gorgeous, and it lasts on my skin amazingly. Next one is newer to my collection, but I'm already so in love. This is from Mugler, and this is uh, Alien Essence Absolute. Gorgeous vanilla Scent. It still has the DNA of Alien, but it's just more elevated, it's more gourmand, it's more vanilla, it's more warmth and richer. Gorgeous. Um, I did hear that this is being discontinued, so get it while you can. You can pick this up at Sephora, but um, very, very soon they will not be having it in stores anymore. I have just the 30ml bottle, and this bottle is absolutely stunning. Stunning, 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 stunning. That this is a fragrance that will last so long, so so long. I literally do not need to even think of touching this, and the sillage is incredible. You will smell it on yourself, and those around you will smell it too. That's how beautiful this scent is. I'm the type of person that I like to smell the fragrance that I have on because I know there are some fragrances where you can't smell it, but other people can smell it. I want to smell me too, okay? I want to smell how good the perfume is throughout the day. And this one will do that to you. It is very potent, very strong. A little goes a long way, but it's super incredible. <sighs> the next one that I have is from Guerlain, and this is Angelique Noir. It's another vanilla scented fragrance that I absolutely love, but this is a very unique one. When I mention this fragrance, I have to 
keep repeating myself how unique it is. It's very different. Even from uh, watching YouTube videos on this scent, I completely imagined this a different way. And then when I got it on my hands, I was like, oh, this is... <laughs> This is not how people describe it. This is a vanilla scent with a green background with this uh, earthy kind of background. It's really, really hard to describe. It's beautiful. It's warm. It's sophisticated, very refined. And once it dries down, you definitely get more of that warmth and vanilla. But that green background, like patchouli, I want to say, still stays there. It still remains there very softly and gives it a very unique touch Angelique Noir will last for hours on my skin and on my clothes days 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 if you spray this on a scarf on your coat this scent will just linger for days it is that potent a little goes a very very long way so you don't need to over spray it it's just a gorgeous unique vanilla scent that's very feminine, very soft and gentle, but still quite strong with that uh, green background in there. Next one, I have something that is celebrity created. This is Madonna's Truth or Dare. And this one is not for everyone. It's not your typical celebrity scent whatsoever. Not your traditional, cute, very girly, overly sweet type of perfume. This is mature, this is vintage, this is two bros. It smells like a mature woman, but a very glamorous mature woman in my opinion. And I really, really do like this. I do use this more for layering with other fragrances. Um, on its own, it depends on the occasion that I'm gonna wear it for, but this is a very long lasting perfume. Like this will last so, so long and you will actually smell the perfume on you also. Um, this will outlast some of my niche fragrances that I have, which is completely insane. It's just a very high quality perfume that Madonna created. And I think it's it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It does have a unique touch to it, in my opinion. It doesn't smell like a vintage Chanel Number no. Five or an original Miss Dior. It has its own vibe to it that makes it sort of unique and vintagey. Um, it kind of reminds me of Lipstick On by Replica, but it's kind of different. But the vibe is there. Vintage, 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 classy, glamorous. This is kind of like what I get from this very long lasting. Next, we are going to go on to Tom Ford. This is Noir Pour Femme, and this is one of my favorite gourmand scents. Mm, 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 mm. This is just beautiful gourmand dessert, but with this beautiful kick of like a very slight unisex vibe in there. It's sensual, it's sexy, it's alluring, it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's just addictive. This one is definitely, mm, it's an addictive scent and it is a very long lasting scent. Another one that you will get tons and tons of compliments on for sure. Like it smells quite lavish and rich in my opinion. Very refined. Oh, it's just like, you know, you got that shmoney. This is it right here. It's so beautiful everyone needs this in their collection trust me ladies you will love it my Lancome Oud Bouquet this is a very popular scent that I will say is not for everyone some people find this a little coiling a little too sweet a little too artificial kind of smelling I love it I think it's so rich and lavish and very very bold um, not a scent that I wear just any time of the day this is like i have an occasion i'm gonna pull this off i want to make impression i want to pull this off i am dressed up to the nines i will pull this off to me it's a very bold sophisticated confident scent mm, it's strong it's really really strong it's definitely on the sweet side but it's a perfect combination of oud and floral oud and roses like it's just that that's all you're gonna get from this oud and roses it's quite beautiful it's slightly on the gourmand side 
and it's just stunning and then next scent that I have here is uh, a brand that I'm kind of discovering and I'm absolutely falling in love with it this is from Kayali and this is Deja Vu white flower 57 oh guys mm -mm. if you haven't tried this perfume from Kayali stop what you're doing order it now and then come back to this video okay this is just a perfect white floral scent like it just smells so divine it actually kind of like reminds you of something but you don't know what it is like the name deja vu is actually very perfect for this it's really really beautiful very well done and i think mona did an amazing job with this one she really really killed it like it's very sophisticated it's floral it's sweet it's strong and bold and and just like it's one of those scents that kind of gives me tom ford noir parfum vibes it's very addictive you want to wear it every single day would make a gorgeous signature scent it is absolutely stunning very feminine oh it's gorgeous and i love the fact that it is very long lasting on my skin and the projection is amazing those around you will definitely definitely smell this scent it smells pretty incredible pretty incredible it's newer to me but i've already been wearing it quite a bit and you don't need to overspray it i do find this very very potent it is very potent the next one that i have is actually an edt but i find it so long lasting it actually surprised me this is from lancome and this is lenoy trizo i don't know how to say that one honestly someone in the comments section let me know like write it like spell it out how i'm supposed to say it okay so this is absolutely gorgeous it's been around for a long time but i actually find that the edt lasts longer than the edp on my skin which is insane to me it is so good this is like gourmandish sweet edible woman sophistication vibes right here another very very good for compliment perfume like if you want compliments this will get you a ton of compliments it just has that beautiful feminine sweet element to it that uh, people definitely gravitate towards it is a crowd pleaser so a ton of people like these type of scents it's not like super unique but i still love it so much and again super long lasting on my skin I really really enjoy wearing this one this one over here is from Maison Margiela mm -hmm. I'm saying it right this time this is their replica line and this one is by the fireplace another super long lasting perfume especially on my clothes and to be honest it lasts a lot longer on my clothes than on my skin but compared to other fragrances within my collection, this is pretty long lasting. This is your very woodsy, marshmallowy, sitting by the fire type of scent. It literally will remind you of you sitting by the fire. You're very cozy and warm and you're roasting marshmallows because it has this beautiful sweetness in the dry down. It's quite smoky in the opening, but let it dry down let that pass through and you will really start to appreciate the scent and really know what it's worth so it does remind me a lot of when I went camping with my family and it doesn't just smell like a campfire which is when you think about it it's not something you want to smell like it's just once it passed the smokiness you will get that beautiful beautiful dry down um, it's quite long lasting a little goes a long way you don't need to over spray with this one and it is one that uh, you will get a ton of questions on what you're wearing. Love this for the winter months. So cozy, so warm. This is Organza in the Sense from Givenchy. <sighs> mm. This is bedroom scent right here. That's the only way 
I can describe this scent. It smells like a vanilla powdered donut, super warm and inviting. It's cozy, it's sensual, little erotic vibes in there. It it almost has this like vanilla custard type of feel to it in the dry down. It's it's one of those very unique scents and I love that the bottle has this like almost like frosty look to it. Because it kind of does remind me of like when you powder a donut, like powdered sugar on a donut. This is this is kind of like the scent that it reminds me of, but it smells super, super sensual, edible, bedroom vibes for sure. Date night, absolutely gorgeous, very close encounters that sits beautifully on the skin and will last four days on your skin. Um, I don't use her as often as I should, so I'm gonna pull her and put her right here on my vanity and use it for mainly bedtime, uh, evening, quite sensual. Very, very sensual and you don't need a ton of this. Like for the most part, these scents here, you need about three sprays and you are good. You don't need to all over the place because you will choke someone with your perfume. I have is this the last one that I have yes this is the last one and a lot of you guys saw this in the background of my videos and want a free view I can do a separate video on it if you guys would like but this is my Balenciaga Flor Botanica perfume and I heard about this on YouTube a ton of times by two particular youtubers and I thought that like I couldn't find it in Canada they have this at Shoppers Drug Mart for anyone who is interested and you are in Canada. I will link it down below. Oh, honey, this is another very unique scent to me. I don't know how anyone can smell this and be like, eh, it's okay because it's very beautiful, very unique. It definitely smells like you are in a greenhouse surrounded with flowers and greenery and it's very airy in there it's fresh in there it's 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 kind of hard to describe honestly like when you when in the opening it's definitely green but it just dries down to all these different elements of floral notes definitely not gourmand it's not super sweet, but it is quite feminine and it has this very refined feel to it. Gorgeous as a signature scent because I do feel like you can pull this off in a lot of different settings, but I will warn you, a little goes a long way. The first time I wore this, I oversprayed and I literally killed whoever was around me. It was so strong, so potent, even I felt uncomfortable. So. Now what I do wear this, three sprays, four max, and I am good to go. Do not go overboard. It is very strong, very bold, projects, and the sillage is incredible. So don't go overboard with this one. You will literally choke everyone in the room. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very long lasting. So guys, that is it for my video. Those are my most long lasting perfumes within my collection and I literally went through all of my perfume and was like okay what is what is really long lasting what is ones that you know you do not need to even think should I bring a travel size with me I'm good for the rest of the day and these are it these will last you hours on hours on end and on your clothes honey you're gonna have to wash it off because they just cling so well so i can't wait to hear your thoughts down in the comment section let me know what are your most long-lasting perfumes and i will see you guys on the next video ciao